Hello everybody, it's Jonathan here to explain about the new licensing changes that are coming to Vectorworks from the end of this year. Now you may have seen emails coming out from Vectorworks or things in the press about the move to subscription. So this is something that Vectorworks are doing, a bit like other companies like Adobe with the Adobe Cloud have done over the years. And we're moving away from perpetual licensing to subscription licensing for new customers from basically January the 1st, 2023. So what this means for you as an existing customer is if you are using Vectorworks already on an older version, it's really recommended that you consider getting upgraded uh, before the end of the year. Now we've got a very good sale on, 25% off end of year sale. And I would strongly recommend, uh, give me a call so I can give you a quote and we can have a chat about the benefits of this. So as well as the many benefits of all the latest features and the latest version of Vectorworks, what you're really going to get is that security of having that perpetual license up to date and being able to maintain it on the service select. Now, if you were a service select member and in the last year or two, you dropped that service select for various reasons, you may well still be able to rejoin at a very attractive rate as well. So again, please reach out to me and let me know if I can help with that. Finally, though, if you are looking for a subscription, um, you can also buy that through our site. So you'll see that we have a subscriptions link and that will basically tell you everything you need to know about the subscriptions model, as well as linking to the Vectorworks site where you can actually do the payment. So again, please feel free to give me a call, drop me an email and reach out to me if you would like to know more about the changes to the licensing or how it affects you personally. Now, these are big changes that I think there's going to be some exciting developments coming with Vectorworks. Um, we're definitely going to have a more um, regular update as they release new features during the year rather than sort of once a year when you get a big release. There's also going to be the ability to be more flexible for new customers, like stopping the license for a few months and then turning it back on again. But overall, uh, there's a model at the moment at the end of the year that suits you, whether you prefer to keep your perpetual license or move to the subscription route at some point in the future. Of course, here at Jonathan Reeves CAD, we're always happy to help. And we've looked after many clients for years and years, and we'll look forward to keep doing that with you too. Please let me know if I can help with any training. And that's the other thing, as you know, that I specialize in, working with practices to help them get the most of the software they've already got. Good, so all that really remains to say is have a fantastic end of the year, and I will look forward to working with you in 2024 and 2023 even. Thanks for watching everybody and I look forward to seeing you soon.